I recently made a video comparing the Air Arms S200 and the Wolf the Rotex RM8. And I preferred the RM8, if I'm being honest with you. I wasn't particularly happy with the grouping of the S200. So what I've done is I've removed the 10 shot magazine attachment and used the single shot tray. And I thought what I would do here is I would compare the groupings to, in my opinion, the best air rifle ever made, the Daystate Red Wolf. So what you're about to see is some fairly extensive testing at 35 meters using the same pellet, the JSB Exact Diablo 8.44, these guys. 10 shots, well actually 20 shots, using the single shot tray between these two guns. Which one's going to be more accurate? Let's find out. So up first, we're going to do a 10 shot group with the Red Wolf. I'm going to use the single shot tray, as I said in the introduction, and I'm just going to put 10 shots into that leftmost target. So we can compare between the two guns. I'm going to take my time. over this but the shooting will be honest I promise it's a little fiddly on my fingers that's okay Five. Five. Number six. There's a piece of grass uh, on my finger there, which is rather annoying. Number six. Number seven. Go away! Number seven, number eight, number nine, and number ten. That one was a little bit lower than the rest, but Number 10. Okay. There is the grouping with the Daystate Red Wolf. Next, we'll do exactly the same thing with the Air Arms S200. Let's go. Now we're going to take our second gun, the Air Arms S200, and we're going to do the same thing. All right, so a 10 shot grouping at the same distance, 35 meters the same pellet and again I'm going to take my time on this we're not necessarily going for the red dot we're just going to see what the grouping is like
Go on, you fiddly thing. I'll put it in backwards. Um, I'm going to keep the camera rolling. That's me being silly. Come on. Please come out. Oh, dearie me. Well, that might have prematurely ended the study. Let me just see if I can... Um, the mechanism for loading these with the single shot tray is a little bit fiddly, unfortunately. Oh, good grief. Um, what we'll do, we'll just assume that's a shame. Come on. That's embarrassing. So what we'll do is we will... We're going to stop it there. Okay. I'm going to find a way of getting the pellet out of the gun. And then we'll continue with the experiment. So bear with me a second. Okay, that was somewhat annoying. But never mind. What I've done is... You'll notice that I've put another... A little target down there. A little splattery one. So I'm going to run it again. So it's just more data, essentially. But to begin with... This time, I'll use the air arms. And I'll take a bit more care when I'm feeding the pellets into the chamber. That was a little rogue. A rogue nation. It's back on. Could have been a flyer that rogue one beforehand. Who knows? that's actually gone through the backstop and didn't make a noise. Come on, feed in. I'll do two more, then I will finish the video off with the... Oh, come on. I'll finish off the video using the Red Wolf again. Yeah. Final one. So I can see that the, there is some spread there. So to finish off, I'll go and get the Red Wolf and we'll look at the data. Okay, we're back. Back in the room with the Day State Red Wolf. God, these are fiddly. 10 shots. Straight on the ball, sorry. <laughs> My neighbours turned around then, apologies. wayward. Let's keep going. Five. I'm maybe rushing slightly. Calm down. Five. Another six. Number seven. Nine. 
And number 10. Cool. Right. Okay. Let's go down and have a look at the data and we can put this to bed once and for all. See you on the other side. So here are the groupings from the Red Wolf and here are the groupings from the Air Arms S200. I think that the Air, the Air Arms isn't grouping as well as the Red Wolf, but that's possibly to be expected. But one thing that I think that these little splatter targets do is they kind of give you a false sense of the actual kind of accurate, well that's pretty good, that you are actually getting. So let me just take these off and let's have a look. So really, there's kind of not a lot in it. If you're being, if you're being honest, I mean, I, I think that the Red Wolf is more accurate. It does group better. There is slightly more spread in the air arms, but not much. If we were to get a Polo Mint, which I actually do have, um, do I have a Polo Mint? No, but I do have one of these. Actually, here we go. One of these you nails that you get for doing building jobs. I don't know what the distance between there is, but that seems to be exactly that. It's a bit bigger. That's a bit bigger. That's a bit bigger. There you go. I think previously it was the multi-shot magazine that was making the grouping of the air arms a little bit wayward. As always, I'm extremely impressed there with the Red Wolf. That one in particular, 35 meters, very happy with that. Cool. Let's summarize. Okay, so there it is. The test is complete. Obviously, the Daystate Red Wolf does group better than an Air Arms S200. There's no denying that. It's a much better quality gun in every regard, in my opinion. However, the S200 is a fraction of the price. I think you could probably buy four S200s for the price of one Red Wolf. That would be pointless, but you could do it if you want to. And whether that little increase in grouping over 35 meters is worth the additional 1400 pounds that you would pay for a uh, Red Wolf, that's up to you. But for me, it's worth it. The gun feels a lot better to use. Um, it's a joy to own. I love the look of it, I love the feel of it, the action, the way that the, um, you cock the gun is fantastic. I wouldn't change it for the world. I think that the big thing is that the single shot tray provides the Air Arms S200 with far more accuracy than the multi-shot magazine. Um, that's been the only difference in this video compared to the last one when I tested it out against the RM8. Um, so there you go. There's some real world shooting, some evidence of those two guns at 35 meters using the same pallet. Now, it was important for me to keep that variable the same. I did not want to change it. I believe there could be better pallets out there for both of the guns, but for me, the JSB 8.44s are kind of a universal standard. It's like they're reliable, they're available, and they're dependable. That's it. Please keep your questions coming. Um, I try and answer every single one of them. And I hope you enjoyed the video. Take care and we will see you soon. Bye bye.